Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about Elasticsearch parameter minimum should match, which you could use to improve your Elasticsearch queries such that they meet the business requirements that you might have to solve. For my demonstration, I have an index uh, with the name W3W, and in this I have two documents. And primarily in those documents, I have this attribute three words. And in one of the document, the value is abandonment. And the other document, the value I have is good morning. Now, while inserting or while setting up an index, I have enabled the trigram analyzer that I mentioned in my previous video. What that would do is, uh, let's look at this uh, document too, which is good morning. And let's see all the terms in this document. So you, you would see that uh, the text good morning is broken down into different terms of three characters, space M O D space M G double O I N G and so on and so forth. So all the possible combinations of three characters are inserted as terms for this particular document. This helps in searching at runtime. It improves the recall. Uh, and you know, let's go with an example. So for example, let me just first remove this analyzer here. So, uh, so what it would do in this case, it is searching for good. But under the hood, it is searching for G double O and OOD, so two tokens. So it will find out something this good morning as a result here. Now, for example, I just bring back the standard analyzer that I had earlier here. What this does is that it will not allow to break this code into the trigram type of tokens. It would try to search good in this particular index and it shouldn't find anything. So it doesn't find anything. So this particularly is bad. So let's just go back, you know, let's just remove the, uh, the analyzer at search. If you don't specify the analyzer at search, the analyzer that you used while creating the index will be used. So you go back and you find uh, for good, you're getting good morning as a result. So far it is looking good, but let's change the query to say evening. Now, when you're searching evening and your analyzer is trigram analyzer, what it is doing is that it will search for EVE, VEN, NIN, ING, so four tokens. One, EVE1, VEN2, NIN3, ING4. So these four tokens it will try to search. And uh, in good morning, you will have you know NIN and ING. So you will get a match, but you can clearly see how good the match is. You, the query is evening and uh, what we're returning is good morning. So totally the opposite. So you don't, you do not want, you know, that type of uh, search uh, uh, results. Luckily we have minimum should match to help us out there and you can specify a different type of uh, values for minimum should match. And in this case, you know, let's take the example that query is KPNING. And going back to what I was explaining earlier, this type of query would search for KPN, PNI, ING. So KPN1, PNI2, NIN3, ING4, so four trigram tokens it will try to search. If you do not specify anything, then it would give you good morning again, which isn't you know what you would like to see. Now, the minimum should match, you can specify multiple values there. Let's start with you know the positive integer value. So here, you specify one, that means that, you know, one of the tokens in the search should match. It matches and it will give you again the result good morning. Let's say we want to match two. 
again for two you have the match you will be able to match nin and ing it will again give you good morning but if you go above three so you, do, you won't find pni in this document so you won't get the result similarly uh, you could specify you know if you if you prefer negative numbers or something like that so if you specify it in this manner minus two now in the search there are four tokens so four minus two two is the remainder so two should match this is how you know you you can specify it just specifying it in a different manner but the outcome would be again you will be able to find good morning because four minus two two tokens uh, you have a match in the index that's what it is if you say i want um, you know four minus one three three tokens uh, must be present in this in the document so you won't get the result here similarly if you prefer percentages you could do that so if you specify minus 75 percent that means 100 minus 25 75 percent of the tokens should be present in the document so which uh, you don't have if you specify minus 50 that means 100 minus 50 50 percent of the token should be, should be present in the document and in this case yes you will get a result similarly you can specify percentages in positive 50% here means that you know 50% of the tokens should be present. So 50% of the tokens are present. You will get a result. Positive 75% is that 75% of the tokens should be present, uh, which isn't the case uh, here. So you won't get a result. You can further take it uh, to next level by specifying more than one conditions. So for example, uh, you want to specify that if um, the number of tokens are less than two, then those must be present in the document. If the total number of tokens are more than two, then you want um, say minus 25%, which is 75% of the tokens should be present in the document. Now in this case, since there are four tokens present in the query, uh, this will uh, not meet the condition that you know the total number of tokens are less than two. And then it will look at this condition, which is the 75% of the tokens uh, should be present in the document and you won't get a result. Now, if say you, you know, change it again, you say, you know, if the number of tokens in the search query are more than four, you just want to make sure that you know 100 minus 50, 50% 50 of the tokens are present in the search doc in the document. So you will get a result. You can further go ahead and say you know you can mix it with more conditions by adding a space. Let's say you know if if your tokens are more than say three you want to specify that 75% uh, of the tokens should be present in the document. Then only, you know, uh, you should get a result. So here, uh, this Elasticsearch uh, would look at, oh, this condition is not met, but then, you know, this condition, it will look at this condition that uh, the total number of tokens are more than three so it is looking at uh, now it is making sure that at least from four uh, such tokens three tokens should be present in the document so you don't get a result if you lower it down to 50 percent then you will get a result so by tuning this minimum should match parameter you can get the maximum accuracy that you would like for your respective uh, business use case. So I hope uh, that this short video would have given you enough idea about how to use this uh, Elasticsearch parameter. Do let me know if you have any questions and I will try to come back uh, to you on your questions and try to help you out. 
Thanks for watching. Thank you.